Buenos dias! ¿Cómo están mis amores? I just woke up. I had my breakfast, but I came here to upload the vlog because I didn't upload it on the weekend how I was supposed to, but it's going up now and I am still pregnant, you guys. <laughs> um, today I am 40 weeks and one day, so today on Monday I'm going to go to my follow-up appointment with my actual doctor and she's gonna be checking if I progressed in the last week. So fingers crossed that she tells me I have. Last night and this morning actually, I started having very mild contractions. And it's weird because they started like around 4 a.m. But they're not like super intense. They're very, very mild. Um, so yeah, that's been happening. And then, Right now, yes, I'm quito, maybe because I ate breakfast. I don't know, but um, I don't feel them as much as I was before I ate breakfast. But I'm hoping they're doing something down there, you know. So that's all I'm praying that, you know, I get good news today from my doctor. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be taking you guys with me. Our appointment is not until later in the afternoon. It's at 1.45, almost 2. So... Yeah, I'm gonna take it really nice and slow today to get ready. So I already had my breakfast. I'm gonna do the bed. I'm gonna shower, do my makeup, and just get ready calmly and just see how how it goes today. So here is my alpha, you guys. And here's my little bump. My 40 week and one day bump. Um, so this is from Maternity Motherhood. Target, Target, Nike. <laughs> um, but yeah, so kind of fall outfit right here. Love this because um, this is for maternity, but you can also wear it after maternity. Um, so I'm going to be hola, hola. really... Oh yeah, there's my baby. But right now we're going to go because my mom um, made some food for, me, for us, please. And so we're going to go eat there with her and then be on our way to our appointment since it'll be right after. But just wanted to show you guys a little bump update. Mi princesa y mi reina. <laughs> Let's go. Right. What up you guys? So we're on our way to my doctor's appointment. Just thinking positive vibes, positive vibes. Um, I also did at the same time kind of prepared myself mentally in case there's no Como que dice Progress like to not Let that You know Make me feel bad or anything that it's okay So I already have also prepared myself for that Yay. Te I'm a little nervous. You didn't come in Come in. Well, all day today I've been having on and off contractions. Okay. It has been like okay. that for the past couple of days. But they're okay. very mild. They're not okay. like strong. You can tell they're not really yeah. painful yet. Yeah. Oh. So let me check you. Mm -hmm. And then we'll talk about it. So once you go past your due date, definitely need you to be monitored. Are you scheduled for this week at all? No, because I remember you said that you wanted to do right. a ultra repeal. Right. So the ultrasound, so you need to be checked on Thursday. So I'm gonna make sure that the girls call and schedule that. You can be out there with them and make sure. Week, my water did go up. Right, I did see that. So not too worried about that. Um, but now that you're overdue, we need to make sure is the uh, room monitor you a little bit closer once you're overdue. So I can't make it to Friday because I know you've been kind of getting checked on Fridays. Yeah. So no Fridays. I need it no later than Thursday. Okay. And I'd be okay with Wednesday. Today and tomorrow's a little early because you just got checked on Friday, but. Wednesday or Thursday, leaning towards Thursday. One of those two days we're going to get monitored. Um, so let me check your cervix. Let me um, measure the belly. This is the baby. And then we'll talk a little bit about the plan since you are past your due date, kind of what, what you want to do. And um, turn right back down. All right, you measured 43 last visit. You do not look like you're shrinking. I hope you can see you look bigger. Sorry, I know that's a sore spot. I'm sorry. Okay, you're 45. I'm not sure if you're trying to break the records for how big the belly can stretch, but you're getting close. All right, let me listen to the heartbeat and I'll um, check your service and get you off your back. Okay. Hang out on this side. Perfect. All right. So let me see if those 
contractions are doing anything to your cervix. Sorry, I didn't mean pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> this is that what they say? Well, so far, no baby coming out, though. I know. Baby falling out. I'm like, I don't think those things work. <laughs> no, I've, you, there, you name it, though. I've heard it, and I have to tell you, 30 years, I haven't found a fruit that makes the baby come out. Mm-hmm. Not one fruit so far. You're really hanging in there really well. You got an A plus for hanging in there. Because I know it's not, oh, sorry, I know it's not that easy all the time. I can call you almost two. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, I can get, yeah, I'm going to call you two centimeters. That's fantastic. And a little thinned out than um, last week. What did I call you? Uh, no, you're about the same as last week. But I'm not going to call you two. So, and 70% thinned out. So, good. It's not quite a baby coming out, but it's, it's a start. So those contractions are doing a little bit. Um, and it's a good start. Okay, so a little bit of change. Um, yep, obviously not quite time yet. I cannot predict when it's going to be. Usually on the due date or nearby, I start talking about things like how far over do you want to go and just give you some more details. So the nation's recommendation, national, is that you shouldn't go more than two weeks past your due date. And the reason that is that the placenta starts to fail. Um, the placenta is not alive for their whole life. It stops around 42 weeks, which is two weeks past your due date, and the placenta keeps your baby alive. So after 42 weeks, you're going to have lots of fetal distress. You're going to have a high rate of C-section. There's nothing good that happens. Nothing that you want is going to happen if you go past 42 weeks. So that's the national standard. So you don't have to decide anything today, but you need to just start thinking about how long. So we need to schedule next Monday, and... Um, we need to talk about it then, because then you'll be a week old. We should be eight days old Yeah. Okay, do you want to wait till then and stay positive? Um, it's going to come out this week, which it may very well. If Most I'm having the repeat ultrasound either Wednesday or Thursday, yes. um, maybe I can go from there instead? That's... Because that would make me feel more comfortable knowing how she is, how right. an estimate of what she weighs. Right, right, right. Right, I think that sounds like a great plan. Yep, I think that sounds good. All right, you guys, so I couldn't update you guys on my ball camera because battery died out of nowhere. I was talking to you guys and, like, updating you guys, and then all of a sudden, like, it just shut down. So all that footage went to garbage because it's not going to save it. But anyways, we just got out not too, like, literally, what, five minutes ago? <laughs> well, I was talking this whole time in the camera. Um, so we just got out of um, my, doctor's, my doctor's appointment. And I am making progress, you guys. Um, she now is officially calling me two centimeters dilated. I am still 70% effaced. Um, so it's a little mini progress, but I'm still happy. Progress is progress. Um, like I said, I, I had already prepared myself mentally in case I had no progress at all or anything. But this makes me happy that she can now officially call me two centimeters dilated. Um, so what's going to happen next is that on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I have a repeat ultrasound, but it's not like the ultrasounds that I've been getting every week where I get monitored. This is the ultrasound where you guys have seen me go in, I think only three times in my whole entire pregnancy, right? It's about three. Three, right? Okay. So it's the one that's super detailed, um, gets measurements of... You know her head her stomach her size her weight everything so it's a very detailed um, ultrasound and that's gonna let us know how big she's measuring right now and they just don't the only thing is that they just want to make sure her head is not like stuck or anything or there's no complications whatsoever they want to make sure that you know she's everything looks normal inside even though everything has been looking normal through the normal like ultrasound but they just want to make sure of everything one last time with a very detailed ultrasound and have her last measurement now because if she is weighing too big they also don't want to run the risk of me having to try and deliver her vaginally when it would it could be impossible if she's too big because of the fact that I carry so much water weight or the is it water weight? What is it? Yeah. 
because I carry so much liquid more than the average pregnant person um, it usually means because it's it's a big baby you know um, so they just want to make sure they remove that possibility of me probably not being able to vaginally deliver her so yeah they're pretty much gonna do that I'm not worried I'm not stressed and like I said I just always put everything in God's hands and only him will know and guide me of how to go about you know this whole situation and he will decide what's gonna be best for us and my baby girl so I'm just putting my trust all in him and seeing what happens this week but yeah so Wednesday is the next um, baby appointment so we'll see what happens until then so I am just here on my ball just bouncing and circling and then I do like these little, like little like side to side things I don't know I saw it in a video that it's like those three exercises that supposedly work um but guess what guys later on Alice said that she's gonna bring me a salad that supposedly it's to help induce yourself I don't know something like that you eat it and then most women have said that that same night or either the next day they go into labor I don't know you're only supposed to eat it once you are full term supposedly right so uh yeah, she says she wants to bring it to me, and I'm like, <sighs> first of all, I don't really eat salad. <laughs> so well, that's going to be really interesting to see if I even like it. She's like, no más con que salgas con que you don't like it. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see what it's all about. But supposedly it's a very famous salad, I guess, in LA. I was actually looking it up, and even celebrities like have tried it, and they've gone into labor because of it. So I'm like, oh. So yeah, we'll see what that's about. Pero mientras, I'm just here rolling on my ball because I've been having the little contractions, but um, they're still not consistent because then they sometimes like disappear and then they don't come back until like another two or three hours after. So that's all I've been doing here right now. All right, pues ya llegó la famosa salad, you guys. Aquí está Ale. <laughs> Uber Eats right here. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. on demand. Right? <laughs> but this is the famous salad. Sepa la bola como se llama, but... But you're going to eat it. <sighs> Le estoy diciendo que I'm like, how am I going to eat this, you guys, when it has cheese? But... I don't y luego le digo it. que esto parece <laughs> otra <Latina>. cosa. <laughs> but this one's not that bad. I already tried this, but this, my friends, I'm kind of a little a scared cheese. about. Eh? Yeah, it has it all over. Se me efectivo. Well, I pretty much finished it, you guys. I used the whole entire dressing. And there it is. So, we'll see if it does anything. I did get one contraction right now. As soon as I was, like, done. Because I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Supposedly in a couple hours, I'm supposed to feel something if it actually does work. So, a ver si si. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's gonna work? Maybe. I find it like it's like a basic ass salad. I, wow. I was expecting a bunch of shit in it. Es que le poquito I was like, um, I can't really eat cheese. Like, <laughs> but, um,. I don't know why I was really expecting a salad that was gonna be like crazy looking and like with a bunch of shit like I don't know like but it's so simple I really I think there's only like three ingredients in there <laughs> other than the dressing but we'll see if it works Buenos dias <laughs> We are on our way to my repeat ultrasound appointment I am so so excited I couldn't sleep last night not because I was in pain or because I was uncomfortable none of that it was literally because of the fact that like I'm just so excited I'm so excited to see you know her oh, is he baby, baby, baby? <laughs> and then also um, just to see how much she's weighing measuring
capturing all that. So yeah, I'm just so excited that I get to see her again. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're on our way. I did take off my, what's it called? My extensions because my dumb ass, I don't know how it happened, but um, I managed to pull a little chunk of the middle part out and it was so obvious like and Dean like right away told me he was like what's wrong with your lashes <laughs> so that was that was my cue right there that like they do not look cute anymore so uh, yesterday he helped me take them off with some like coconut oil and yeah so I'm back to my natural lashes I don't know if I want to put some on again because I don't know if I'll have time to make an appointment um because the Yoli who did my actual lashes, she's, she doesn't live here near me at all, so it's sad. But, um, so yeah, it's, it's impossible for her to like, you know, do a whole set again for me. Anyways, I did also want to give you guys an update on the salad because I know you guys are going to be asking, did it work? What happened? I mean, I'm, oh, I mean, I'm still pregnant. Did it work? <laughs> I don't think I I really doubt that that salad even works because I, it looks like just like a basic salad I don't know I don't know if it has to do something with the dressing maybe I don't know all it did was make my little girl super active and I mean every night I have mild contractions and that night I kind of felt them a little bit but that was about it like there was nothing else different about me I guess so I don't think it worked, to be honest. Um, Cause I'm obviously still pregnant and it's been already two days, so yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Feels weird to be laying on my back. I'm trying to come out the belly button. All right. <laughs> so the fluid's decreased quite a bit from before. Still a little more than the average. Than average for this far along, but 23. Less than the 29 to 30 that you had before. Yeah, it should be really low. Head is down, in good position. That's your heart. It's the heart. It's in the heart. You okay? Yeah. Does your heart look good? Well, it's always looked good. I know it's harder to see this far along, but I just want to look at the little veins and other things. Just looking at everything again, and everything continues to look normal, so. And she's in good position and everything. Yeah. See how big she's gotten. So, you see down here where it says O O R? Yeah. Means out of range. <laughs> Chubby. <laughs> Chubby baby. <laughs> the most common cause of big fluid is big baby. Well, the computer thinks the baby might be over nine pounds. So that would explain extra fluid. Okay, but it can kind of be off a little, right? That's the problem with this technology. It can be off by a lot, by a pound, a pound and a half, in either direction. Although I think in your case, it's more likely to overestimate than to underestimate, but you never know. Let me try to get a 3D one but usually this far along, it's really tough because they're so mushed. Yeah, it's a little bit there. Almost oh, it's pretty good actually for 40 weeks. They're pretty squished in there when you're this far along, and so it's hard to get a good face here. Oh, she's gonna be a fat one. Te gusta bien gordita la canica. What up, you guys? So, it's been a couple hours since we came back home and I actually got out of our appointment, but I never got to talk to you guys or anything. Um, I don't know, I guess I just got carried away with the excitement and everything and I just started like calling up everybody, like my family and all. But um, yeah, baby girl is definitely big. How the doctor was like, 
you know, he wasn't surprised that she would be a little chubby baby girl. <laughs> um, but me and my husband are just so excited that we got to see her face. I didn't think we were going to be able to just because she's like super down low there. And like how he said, like usually around this time, like they're very squished and everything. But at least we got to see a little tiny bit of her face. But we are just so excited that... You know, she is just healthy and there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to know what day literally it'll be. Um, just because it's, it's just a waiting game now. Like, waiting to see when she's going to want to come. And we are just so more than ready. <laughs> um, but yeah. Here's little Bella. Bella, how do you feel you're going to be a big sister? Hi, Bella. Hello, Chiqui Luna. Hi. Down you go. I can't even carry them anymore, you guys. Oh, it was so funny. Earlier today, Chapito would not leave my side. Like, he walked out and ni lo peló, ni se que ni le importó, nothing. Like, he just came and was like just standing next to me. like. I'm not leaving her side. It was so weird because he never ever does that. But they say that dogs know or sense something. So I don't know. Maybe he has a lot of love for JV. <laughs> we keep thinking that on Monday when we go into my doctor's appointment, she's just going to tell us like, you're ready to go to the hospital. I keep trying to touch her because I don't know. She It makes me feel good. And at the same time, like I know she's moving. Anytime I'm like rubbing my belly like this. Oh yeah, and then I went to go fix my pedicure because they had fucked it up. Oh my god, they fucked it up so bad. So uh, we also went to go just do that. A lot of people say that getting a pedicure could help induce you. I've gone so many times and nothing. I even asked for extra massage and like even like uh huh. I even asked for extra massage time and like to go even harder. And nothing. <laughs> Nada sirve on me. My mom is actually right now going to do unos tamalitos super picosos. Oh my god, you guys. Like the house right now, I had to open up all the windows because the tanto que el chile estaba like calando así. I was like, mom, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> Damn. Look how spicy this looks, you guys. This? Y ahora siente este del otro lado, con tu yema de tu dedo, ve lo, 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 lo rasposo, porque si no puede caer, no se despega. ¿Quieres aprender cómo hacerlo? Mira. ¿Ves? ¿Ves? ¿Ah? Y este no es. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ya le, ya, ya no le atinaste. Sí, mejor que. You failed, never mind. <risa> Pero es que la hoja tiene su lado, porque si no, de aquí. no se despega. Tócala aquí. Ahí no. Yo la sentí más, más suavecita de aquí, ya tócala así, esto, así como está. Mmm... <risa> No, sí, sí, ajá, sí. Se siente más suavecito de este lado. Qué maravilla. Ay, ya la quedas. Aquí no es que se ponen para atrás. No. Ay, ay, me lo llegaste ahí también. Stop criticizing me, like mal. No, 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 lo importante es que le aprieten la colita pero que no lo, no lo suelten, o sea, que no lo revienten. ¿Así? ¿Así? Ándale, así, perfecto. ¿Ves? Sí, no, no, que no. Pues, Nomás así, háganle, aprieten la colita, pero sin reventarla. Okay. ¿Ya está bien? Sí. Y que te necesito una tanda para que sale allá. No, ya ahora sí. Si ustedes aprenden ya chingue, pues si me ayuden bien. Bien chingón, pues ya está. Pero viejo. A ver, ya das tú un tamalito. A ver cómo te sale a ti. A ver, ¿qué me andas diciendo? Que yo aprendí de él. A ver, chingón. ¿A ti te salen chingones? Sí, a ver cómo se ve que puede el baño. A ver, vamos a ver si es cierto. ¿Ya viste lo que dijo? ¿Qué? Que ahorita que vaya al baño, que él salen chingones. ¡Eh, oh, ya! ¡What the fuck! Ahí no estaban, ahí no estaban aquí. A ver, pues algunos. En la como las. Me dije, si no se les va a hacer el sal, no van a meter. Mejor no se metan. 
¿Es en serio, más si se haga hacer uno? Así, cuídame, ayúdame. A dejar. Ah, que se queda con uno. Un desastre. ¿Qué ¿Sí? ¿Qué pensabas que no le iba a tirar al lado? Es como Valentín. Ay, pues era su primer tamalito de Valentín. ¿Qué esperabas? I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Andale, tienes que doblarle las esquinitas. Pero ya cuando veo para aquí. ¿Qué es eso, viejo? ¿Qué más? Oh my god. Viejo, ¿qué es eso? No está mal. Parece un burro. Burro mal hecho. No es que no le dobló. Eso parece otra cosa eso. Sí, pero está frío. Voy a capturar la cola y el chico. And bam, they are finally done. Oh my god. Woo. Oh my god. Y luego hizo un champurrado y ves. So, ahí está. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Buenos días. ¿Cómo están mis amores? <laughs> right now, we're gonna go walk with the dogs usually you guys know we walk in the evenings but this time we were like let's just take the dogs um, because usually we walk them around here and around the house because they get tired easily but I was like I have my appointment today to get monitored so let me do a little bit of walking it's just mostly to check my contraction so hopefully I don't know, maybe my contractions can get a little kickstart. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna go walk with the puppies. Here's little Bella. Oh, oh, you guys. I am tired because not only do I go walking now, but I also do like a little, you could say like a little mini hike or I don't know. Would you just call it a mini hike, babe? Yeah. It's really, really like steep. But the good thing is that I'm, I'm not up in the mountains. I'm actually on a road. So I walk up this whole entire thing. Like it's really steep. But every que, time I do it, I'm se, like done. Para que se den la idea de qué tan uh, difícil está, nomás escuchen a Chapito y a Lulu. I know, they're like dying. <laughs> um, But no, I've been, I've been really trying, you guys. Like, I know everybody keeps telling me, like, keep walking, keep walking. And I'm like, girl, I am hiking already and nothing. <laughs> But I am hungry. I'm thirsty. So I'm going to drink water right now. Hydrate the crap out of my body right now. Because, yeah, I keep sweating, you guys. Like, I am literally sweating. And then I have to clean myself up and everything and get ready so I can go, um, to my monitoring appointment. Got an A plus for the breathing uh -huh. and the heart rate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so I know this baby is good. Trying to see if she's facing up and I don't think she is. She's oh, facing she's getting ready. Back. Cause then she said most of the time they're facing up. Yes, uh-huh. The vast majority are but I'm not oh, seeing the eyeballs. Uh -uh. Just the neck. Uh huh. So that looks good. Everything looks great. We got fetal breathing. We've got good fluid. What up, you guys? I am back home. Sorry, I didn't vlog right after I got out of my appointment, but it's because 
let's just say I didn't walk out of there normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was literally on the verge of having my husband carry me out. Not even a joke, you guys. Like, my back. Yeah. Oh, no, yo, I couldn't. No, I couldn't walk anymore. Um, <laughs> no, es en serio, ya no pude caminar. Se le fue la carga de lado. Maybe, that's what happened, I don't know. But no, literally, you guys, like, I could not walk out of there normally. So, I had to cripple my way out, and we just went straight to the chiropractor, like, ASAP, because I was like, oh my god, my back. Um, so he, I adjusted it, he helped massage it and everything. And it still hurts. He says that most likely because it's so obvious that she's laying on the left side and you guys have noticed it on my pictures. Um, that most likely she's like hitting my nerve or a nerve. And it's, yeah, it's really like flared up, I guess. But he told me a few exercises to do here at home, a few things to try. Um, and hopefully it can help me because right now I've just been like bouncing on my ball trying to like help with my back and my posture. It's just like because of the fact that like obviously <laughs> I am so big. It's it's literally out there. Um, but I did get to the point where I, I ended up crying because I was like in so much pain already. <laughs> so I am good now, <laughs> thankfully. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna try those exercises. But anyways, going back to my appointment. So everything looks perfect with my baby girl still. Like I said, she is still practicing in there, her breathing. She's, every time they go in there, they're like, she gets an A plus. <laughs> um, just because she's like, she's like super, super ready. And yeah, I mean, right now she is way lower. Like I said, like every time they try to like see where her head is at, like it literally goes down there. <laughs> so like she is super, super low. Um, I was having contractions while I was in there. And they are like, like how they said, they are very surprised I have not gone into labor because I, I do get contractions. Like they're real contractions. They're just not coming in consistent for me to go into labor. That's the only thing that needs to happen, like for me just to have my contractions being consistent and then finally like building up to an intensity that's, you know, strong enough to push the baby down. Um, but they, they, every time I go in, it's kind of funny because they, they keep saying like, I could have sworn the last time was going to be the last time I saw you, but I'm like, no, here I am still. So they're they're hoping that hopefully this weekend I go into labor. Um, but if not, a Monday is again like when I get checked and I will be having another monitoring just because um, it'll be now in my 41 week. So that's pretty much the update. But other than that, I mean, everything looks perfectly normal and healthy. And yeah. Hermosa. ¿Qué haces, Jaylene? Hola, princesa. Hola, mi amor. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, más. Ay. Jaylene. Mi amor. Okay. Guys, so at the end, I ended up showering, blow dried my hair, and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep because I am. I don't know why I feel like I'm really exhausted. I don't know if it's because I was crying earlier or whatever, but I feel like shit. And I feel like I just need to go to sleep now. So I'm gonna go to sleep. And I will see you guys all in the next vlog. Bye.